Hello, I'm Mike Mazzalongo for BibleTalk.tv, and this is your Monday morning devotional. One of the fun things that happens at Christmas or birthdays is the giving and receiving of gifts. When thinking about this, I realize that of all the gifts I receive from man and God, the greatest of these is the gift of forgiveness. God's entire purpose has been to order human events throughout history in order to bring Jesus onto the world scene so that he could die on the cross and resurrect from the dead and thus obtain our forgiveness. Peter explains, He bore our sins in his body on the cross, for by his wounds you were healed. 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 24. The pleasure of most gifts is to unwrap and examine them. Well, today I'd like to do this with our most precious gift, forgiveness. First of all, forgiveness is something that everyone needs. Just like we say when we get a new tool or a watch or an envelope of money, oh great, I really could use or I really wanted one of these. We can say as far as forgiveness is concerned, I really needed this. The Bible says that everyone sins and because of sin, we're condemned to everlasting hell. Romans chapter 3, 23 and 6 verse 23. When we receive forgiveness from Jesus, we can truly say with a sigh of relief and joy, Wow, I really needed this. Secondly, Jesus is the gift giver. The note on the box says, To Susan from Jesus, or to Bill from Jesus. Jesus has the authority to forgive, Matthew 28, verse 18. Jesus paid the price to purchase your forgiveness. It is completely paid for. As Paul says in Ephesians chapter 1, verse 7, In him we have redemption, through his blood, the forgiveness of our trespasses according to the riches of his grace. Because Jesus, the Son of God, is the gift giver, we can be sure that our actual forgiveness is greater than our doubts about our forgiveness. That, uh, you know, it's too good to be true syndrome. Jesus said, all things are possible with God, Matthew 19, verse 26. All things are possible, even the forgiveness of every single one of your sins in the past, the present, and the future. You can trust the quality, effectiveness, and durability of your gift. It will not break down or be out of date. It will always function to do what it was designed to do, remove your sins, and cleanse your conscience now and forever. Number three, Jesus has this gift for everyone. You know, the sad thing about Christmas is that people celebrate the person of Jesus by exchanging gifts with others, but they neglect to receive the most precious gift from Jesus himself. There's so many unopened presents on Christmas Day. Jesus offers the gift of forgiveness and the eternal life that goes with it to everyone who will receive it. John writes, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. John 3, 16. Jesus offers this precious gift of forgiveness to everyone who expresses their belief in him by repenting of their sins, confessing his name publicly, and by being baptized. He also offers forgiveness and renewal to all Christians who have rejected or abused his gift with sinful living or neglect of church by simply confessing and abandoning their sins. Would it not be a fine Christmas or birthday if you would finally receive what you really needed, forgiveness for your sins? I pray that everyone watching today will get to open God's most precious gift, forgiveness. Discussion questions. Number one. How would you define forgiveness? What happens when there is forgiveness? Number two, explain how Jesus obtains your forgiveness. Number three, why do we sometimes continue to feel guilty for past sins, even if they have been forgiven? <music>